Hello Stitchy friends, how are you? I hope this finds you well. My name is Sally and I am Flossy Sews of Grows here on YouTube and on Instagram. This is a channel predominantly about cross stitch but I do talk about other things now and again and this is floss tube number 40. It is Tuesday the 20th of August so I'm a little bit behind in chatting to you. I normally like to film every other Friday and last Friday we were away camping so um wasn't able to to talk to you and also didn't get an awful lot of stitching done either um but I've still got a huge amount to show you because I did do quite a lot of stitching the week before um, Felicity was at scout camp so with her being away I got a little bit more time to sit and stitch which was great um, first of all, I would like to say a huge thank you to everybody that has come and watched Sarah and I, so at Samey Sarah, and I chatting about our birthday plans for this year and also our plans for the rest of the year for our hashtag fun for 50 Sal 2024. So as you many of you know, we are both doing 50 new starts because we are both turning 50 this year and last week we caught up on a zoom call which we recorded for your watching purposes um just as having a little chat on how we were getting on and what our plans were for the rest of august and september and then the stitches that we're doing together in october november and december so if you haven't yet watched that Pop over to my channel and have a look. It's also on Sarah's, um, but she's had me more views than me already, so watch it on mine. And <laughs> joke, watch it on whichever, it doesn't matter. Um so and I have actually I have picked up a few few new subscribers. I think a few of you have did watch me on Sarah's channel and um have popped across and, and commented that um you'd come to join me from there so thank you so much for that so thank you if you're a new subscriber or if you're one of my regular visitors there's quite a few of you now so it's great to have you here and I hope you enjoy what I have to say so yeah so it's been <laughs> it's been a busy two and a half weeks um we had a lovely day out Simon and I and actually I'm going to save that and tell you about that in my next floss tube because I've got so much to tell you about in this one um, I think it, it could be a bit of a long one and I've got so much to show you as well. Um, so I'm going to save that. And then, yes, we were camping last week, which was really lovely. We went down to Mid Wales and had a few nights. A really, really, well, probably the best campsite we've been to actually so far in the UK. Um, a place called Forest Fields. So it was near Clendidrod Wells. So really a lovely campsite. Um, so... But as I said, I did manage to get quite a lot of stitching done before I went away. So I'm not sure we have got quite a lot of sun coming in. I've got the curtains half open, and um, but we'll see. But I think it's quite nice light. But I did have a finish. In fact, I had two. So this is my first finish. So this is Christmas Ride by Barbara Anna. And I think the last time you saw this, it was a little bit of a sorry um, start because I hadn't been very happy with the colours, the red, the reds of Father Christmas and Mother Christmas. And they were quite orangey and um, didn't like them. And then I saw that Sarah had changed hers. She'd started it and the next thing she finished it. This was one that we were stitching together and I got the bit between my teeth. It was a Wednesday, so I stitched on my Barbara Anna Wednesday evening, which I do with my friend Stitchy Sally, and I went for it and got it finished. So I'm really, really pleased with that. I've stitched it on a 32 count, 32, 36 count, in fact, um, vintage country mocker, and changed the reds. I think I used 815 and 817, and then... The rest of the colours are the called for. So, good to have got a finish. Really pleased to have got a finish. And actually I've got another finish as well. So, you saw this on the last time I filmed. 
So this is Modern Folk Embroidery and it's 10 Merry Sailors and their loyal dog. <laughs> and I just want to show you the cover of this. Just take note of the border and the alphabet. I was stitching on this and I, I was stitching on it when I was Zooming with, with some of my friends and my friend Alex was on the call, who is Salex Stitches, and she said to me, are you going to stitch the border? And I said, yes, but maybe not. She got me thinking. So when we came off the call, I got the cover and had a look at it and I thought, hmm, actually, do I need to stitch the border? Actually, do I need to stitch the alphabet? I think Alex said to me, you know, that the real thing to be wanting to look at there is the, is the boat. And you know what? I thought she was right. So here is my finish of 10 Merry Sailors and Their Loyal Dog. And without the border and without the alphabet. And I am actually, I think you'll agree, it's a great finish. Really, really happy with it. This was um, a kit that we had at Stitch in London last year. So J Jacob had done it exclusively for Stitch in London. So we've got our Stitch in London 2023. He has now released this, I believe. So you can buy it, obviously, without that on the bottom. And I stitched it. So in the kit was Vintage Country Mocha, one of my favourite Zweigarts. And the floss was Roxy Floss Co. Great Lakes. Um, I think it's just perfect. I've stitched my initials here. Jacob had put a ch uh, alphabet in the chart. I'm really pleased with it. And I really think that without the border and without the alphabet, it's, it's fabulous. I, I like it just as it is. And I think I will frame that in a picture frame. And it will be on my wall. So I'm really pleased with that. I think I'm really, I'm really pleased. <laughs> I'm really pleased that Alex said to me, "What? How, how are you going to? Are you, are you going to do that border?" And I think it got me thinking. And it made me think. I don't need to do it if I don't want to. And I don't think it's not a case of not doing it because I wanted to get finished sooner. I just looked at it and thought, "She's right. The the border and the alphabet." does detract a little bit from the boat and it's just perfect as it is. So really pleased with that. So I did have a start. So that one wasn't it. I thought that that wasn't it. I'm waffling to myself a little bit. I'm thinking out loud. Please ignore me. So I had one new start since I last spoke to you. And this was Steampunk Penelope. So here she is. Let's put her on this side. So Steampunk Penelope. She is from um, The Proper Stitcher. And I think she's fabulous. I absolutely adore her. Absolutely adore her. So she's from Annie, The Proper Stitcher. And I'm just going to show you. She has her friend... I've put him in, in the bag as well, Percy, who I'll show you what I'm going to do, hopefully. So here is my start. And I'm stitching this. Here we go. I'm stitching this as part of a stitch along. So this is a stitch along. It was a birthday start for my friend Ruth. And there are a little gang of us that have Zooms now and again. And we all decided that we were going to stitch a bird for Ruth's birthday. She wanted to stitch. She was actually stitching um, one of Mama Loves You, Mama Loves you GB's charts. Um, it was the, was it the Elizabeth? I can't remember the name. Not Little Swoop. That's the other one because she's now done that. <laughs> um but she's done the, yes, 
I'll pop, I'll pop, I'll pop the one that she did on here. And actually, I will pop a picture uh, because Ruth has finished that, and she has finished a little swoop as well on fabric that she dyed herself, and they both look absolutely fantastic. So I'm sure she won't mind me sharing them with you. If they're not there, she she's not happy, but I think she'll be okay with it. Um, so we started a hashtag birthday bird for Ruth Sal. And that was Alex, Caroline, Fanny and Marion. And we've all, we're all stitching different birds actually. So, but mine is Penelope. And I'm stitching her in predominantly the called for threads, called for floss, which they are, I think I've got all of the fancy floss pretty much. There's just the, mostly, Oh, there's a gentle arts in there and then there's a few weeks the pe the weeks dye works purples are gorgeous the eggplant and um plum they're really lovely but so it's a bit of a mix and actually the the black i think the onyx was it onyx was the black in it which i have got but I felt actually that 310 was just perhaps would pop a little bit better on this fabric. So this fabric is lovely. I'm not sure what it is. It is one of my mystery fabrics. And actually, I thought it was 30 count. No, 40 count. I thought it was from my 40 count pack. And then when I actually started stitching on it, I realised that it was definitely a, a smaller count because the holes were bigger. And um, But... I'm still really enjoying it. I just think the you know the purples and the greens of it really go with the purples and the greens of the pattern. And as you can see, I have got, I'm hoping, because I did measure it out for 40 count, <laughs> um, I'm hoping there will be, there should be enough room on this side here to put Percy next to Penelope facing her. So I'll have them side by side. Um, yeah, so hopefully that will work out okay. But this is this has just been such a lovely stitch so far. Um, as you can see, I did I've managed to get quite a lot done. I started it what on the 9th of August, so yeah, eleven days ago. So I've managed to get a reasonable amount in, considering I'm stitching lots of other things as well at the moment. So that was Penelope, and yeah, she's really lovely. I'm just going to pop things away as I go, if you don't mind, so I'm not too chaotic. Um, so the other one that I thought was a start, but in actual fact I had, I did just check before I came on, I had actually already um, started it last time I spoke to you because I showed you my small start. So I'll pop a picture of where I was last time. And there's my front cover hidden away hidden away so this is shoe fancy black it's shoe from Pinebury Lane and I'm stitching this as part of the hashtag fancy black it sal 2024 and so this is with a number of my friends Kirsty crafty Kirsty who I met at stitch in London last year my friend Elaine who is Ellie Welly stitcher and um, there's also Alice in the Stitching Whippet who has already finished this. Very, I think I think Elaine had said she'd do it in two days, and I think maybe she did it in three. But gorgeous finish. And um, Laurie and Laurel are also stitching with us as well, and they have both finished it. So um, mine is not yet a finish. I'm stitching this with the majority of called for fancy floss because I had most of them um, and there's just one DMC in there that I've substituted um, and here we go so this is actually on the called for fabric just because I happen to have it so it is 35 count weeks dye works beige and this is my progress so far here we go so I have stitched quite a fair amount on this. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm very pleased with my progress so far. Um, I've actually I started doing the skirt last night, or well, the dress of the of 
the scarecrow with the pumpkin head and actually decided to stop and try and do some of this because I thought that'd be great for a Zoom call. I've got a Zoom call with some friends tomorrow night, so I thought that would be perfect lock stitching to do. So really enjoying this one and I probably, I'm going to try and I think just leave, stitch as much as I can, but just leave a little bit so that I can finish it at Stitch in London when I'm with Kirsty. So that is my plan because I'll be seeing her there. So really, really enjoying that one. So the Fancy Blackett ladies, I think they call themselves the Fancy Blackett group, Fancy Blackett groupies. They have now added me to their group and they stitch a Fancy Blackett every year. So I think this is the fourth one that they will have done. So I'm hoping at some point I can catch up and stitch the other three that they've already stitched. So the next one I have been working on is another one I found quite difficult to put down. I'll show you a picture of where I was last time. Is Jane Marshall, 1857, from Hands Across the Sea. And as you can see, <laughs> I have got dangling threads here because I have been using that blue border to work up and count and just adoring this one the colours are just fantastic so I'm stitching this with the called for DMC's which are you will agree beautiful beautiful palette of colour that's I think what actually attracted me to this one the colours of it so really really bright and, and vibrant and also this this border down at the bottom I loved it and then it gets even a thicker flower border here as well which yeah just really really love I'm stitching this on a 36 count linen which was a fabric of the month by fabrics by crafty Kate so I think you've got a pretty accurate colours there. So yes, love, love, love. There's more, <laughs> there's more projects, there's more stitching I did. So as you can see I am a little bit competitive. So when Sarah did her, um, had finished her Christmas ride, I kind of got my act together and thought, well, I've got to finish it. Well, then the other thing she finished that's made me think, right, need to get a move on, is the Stitch in London um, Twin Bird Pin Cushion by Chloe Wood Girl with the Gavel Stitches. Now, this is the first stitch that we'd started together as number one of our 50. And so Sarah has now finished it. So I thought, oh, better pick it up. I haven't worked on it for since maybe February or March. <laughs> so I thought, no, I need to pick it up and get on. So I'll pop a little picture of where it was the last time you saw it, or the last time I showed it to you. And um, this is where I have got to now. So another hanging thread <laughs> of the pink. But I have completed now the top of the pin cushion and I have done some more oh, it's got a little bit more to do on that back stitch and I've been now I haven't quite decided what I'm going to write in this what I'm, what I'm going to write in it what I'm going to stitch in it um, I think Sarah has put stitches of 1974 which I might do or I might do hashtag fun for 50 sal 2024 don't know but really pleased with the progress so far and I still need to stitch all the sides because it's a little mattress mattress pin cushion so I need to do the two one two three four lengths that then I can sew the top and the bottom together so the plan is this will be finished for the end of the year and Sarah and I are going to both use our orts from this year to stuff it with. I don't think I'll have enough, <laughs> so I think I will also be putting some some 
of a, of a, maybe last year's sports as well um in it as well as well as some probably some stuffing but um i think it's going to be gorgeous i think it's going to be a really lovely memento of this year and a stitching together um, and i've used roxy floss co colors for that i've used um royale pewter and pink 182 so they've been really lovely to stitch with I think this also might be another one that I might just try and get it to a point where it's a practically to finish and finish it when I go down to Stitch in London um, so that I can show it off when I'm down there. I'm not sure if Chloe, um, the designer, is, is at that weekend. There's two weekends this year for Stitch in London. So half of us are going to one weekend and half of us are going to the other weekend. Um, but it will still be lovely to see some of the people who have stitched this along with me. I know... Um, Lizzie who is Mrs Fisher Stitches she stitched it along with us this year and she has finished it and she's going to be at the same weekend as I am I um, can't remember who else if there's going to be anyone else there but I'm um, yeah so hopefully that should be another finish for them next whip is Feast of Friendship by Blackbird Designs so this I am stitching along with the lovely Lisa who is Lost in Stitches, Lisa. And we decided to do this as a stitch along with a hashtag of Feast of Friendship for Lisa. Just to, I think, well, we both wanted to stitch it. And um, I think Lisa came back to Floss Tube not too long ago after a bit of time away with being, with being ill. And um, I think that the kind of pouring pouring out of friendship and relief and, and happiness that she was back back in floss tube land with us um kind of encouraged me to to reach out and say let's stitch this together and celebrate the feast of friendship that we've we've got as a community and as stitching friends so haven't made <laughs> haven't made a huge amount of progress with this this is on a 40 count it's vintage um cafe olay i think it's Vigart and as you can see, yes, it's so it is 40 count um, so I'm finding it's quite a tight 40 count, quite a small one. Um, hence I've left it in the nerd hoop because um, I try and just pick it up when I'm sat up here. And as you can see, I'm stitching at the moment the that bowl, that fruit bowl. Yeah. All fingers and thumbs today. It's terrible. Um, Stitching that fruit pole there. So as you can see, yes, quite a lot of stitching, a similar colour, but it's outlined, so you should be able to see it fine. Um, but yeah, it's quite a close colour to the to the fabric, so it's not the easiest to stitch. But progress is progress, and that will be on my whip go board for next year, because that's my plan for next year. I have one final whip that I've worked on since I last saw you and this is Yasmin's Summer Bouquet. So Yasmin's made with love and I have found this is a really fabulous one. Colours again, look at the colours! The pinks and pinks, pink and purple are my favourite colours. So just that colour palette is just absolutely fabulous just absolutely fabulous and I found this um, to be really good stitch to do in the car or when I'm out and about so this is where I'm up to so since you last saw it I've this and I've stitched all of this as well so one <laughs> one of the days that we went camping last week we went out for the day and we got a bit wet <laughs> and we got back to the campsite and our friends had arrived and it was absolutely tipping it down and they were still sat in their car and they got out and kind of said oh we don't want to put the tent up yet it's raining anyway our other friends had an event shelter so they all kind of huddled there and I just said to Simon I just need some downtime I just need it'd been a quite an active afternoon we'd gone for a walk and then got wet 
I said, I just need a bit of, although it was lovely to, to see my friend arriving, I just needed a bit of time on my own. I said, I'm just going to sit in the car and stitch for a bit. So I did, I did, and I did quite, I think I did quite a few of these flowers and it was just perfect. Although it was raining, it was still quite light. It, it had been sunny in the day and um, got a bit of stitching done. I think I was got about an hour and I needed it. I really needed it. Um, and as I kind of thought, mm, I think it's probably time to stop soon. The rain stopped and the sun didn't come out, did it? It might have done actually, but it the rain eased and um, it was time to, for my friends to get their tent up. So Simon helped them do that and then um, with the children helped as well. And then um, Ellen and I, my other friend, we started cooking dinner and get everything chopped up and so we could all eat dinner together which I think the friends who travelled and because and, they, they'd they come a day after us because their daughter had um was getting her A-level results and she did brilliantly she got three A stars and an A so we were celebrating as you can imagine um so they'd come a day late later than than we'd arrived so um when we'd arrived it was beautiful sunshine it was absolutely wonderful but yeah just unfortunate that they arrived in the rain but that perfect perfect stitch for doing in the car and actually because of the straight lines um i also managed to get some of that stitched in the car on the motorway i can't really i struggle to stitch unless we're kind of in slow traffic and it's a straight road but if it is i'll always <laughs> I've started to just have it by the side of me now, so that if we slow down, Simon normally always drives, uh, if we slow down, I can just get it out, whip it out and start stitching. So those were my whips. So what are my plans? Well, I already have spoken about my plans for the rest of August and for September on my other little video which I chat which I did with Sarah so if you'd like to find out a little bit more about that then um, pop over there and listen to that and you'll find out what I'm doing for the rest of this month what I'm doing in September and then October November and December the starts that Sarah and I are doing together um, but Feast of Friendship I think has very much um, been Kind of forefront of my mind over the last couple of weeks obviously with big stitch and seeing seeing friends there and meeting new people um and then stitching obviously with lisa and there's lots of stitch alongs that i've got going on and having a zoom call with some of my friends quite often which is really really lovely um something else kind of came along which kind of for me, it's been a massive, massive kind of feast of friendship and just um, the kindness of people and friends. Um, it's, it's just wonderful because I have had just the most amazing stitchy kindness over the last couple of weeks. So first of all, I want to share with you a little package that I'd had from the lovely Thea, who is in the Netherlands. And I know that she has also sent, because Sarah, Sarah has shown it on her costume a similar little package um for sarah and both got so let me show you what thea sent so just the most beautiful um little card and thea is um on instagram she's in the house of aquarius and she always comments on my instagram and always comments on my floss tube so thank you thea for that and just for this little little package as well so beautiful beautiful what kind of does it say what kind of bird is oh it might do but it's in a different language that i don't understand so i'm not going to embarrass myself um, <laughs> but so thea send gorgeous little pack here so this is um a cut cut trio and it's fabulous. I've actually, I've, I haven't done this, so you can't actually see. Um, let me just quickly show you. It has got not just the, the chart in it, but it's also got the little bits of fabric that you need for making these three. Definitely told you I was all fingers and thumbs. Making these three little Christmas pouches. 
So absolutely beautiful. Lovely. So I'm really pleased with that. And they are also sent <gasps> Jeanette Juckless Jubby Bird. Really excited about that one. Um really, really I love the the um Jeanette Douglas but all, all the ones that she does for this and I know that S Sarah got um, Chubby B so I'm hoping she'll swap with me when we've both stitched them but love that one so you also send some of her floss drops which are gorgeous so we'll definitely come in they would have looked beautiful actually with Jane Marshall because they're lovely lovely colours on there she sent some two little pieces of fabric which will come in very useful as I do stitch lots of smalls and I would say that's probably 36 count which is my favourite and then not only a uh, variegated DMC in purpley purpley blue colours so my favourite colour but also what a treat is this some Mrs Mrs Seda Simas silks which are absolutely let me just see if we can get the right colours for this so this are the Rebels and Sienna so absolutely gorgeous gorgeous colours that's just such a treat so thank you so much Thea absolutely thrilled with your gifts that's just so kind of you thank you so much I think I, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to stitch with that one but I already have a chart an autumn chart that I think I might use that one for so I'm absolutely thrilled thank you so much for your kindness um just yeah just unbelievable and then I also got another little parcel well, it wasn't a little parcel, actually. It was quite a big parcel. And this was from my lovely friend, Ruth, who is at Country Gal 857 over in the States. And a couple of weeks before Big Stitch, Ruth said, oh, I've got a few things that I think you might like. Can I send them? I was like, oh, that'd be wonderful. Thank you. And I then said, well, actually, Whitney, who's Crafty Whitney, is coming over from the States. Maybe it would be better for you to post them to Whitney and she'll bring them to to big stitch and Ruth said oh great great wonderful idea so swapped gave Whit Ruth Whitney's address etc and parcel arrived with Whitney and then of course Whitney came over to big stitch and then it all went a bit wrong because the suitcase went missing and it had my parcel from Ruth in it <laughs> so there was a little bit of worry that the suitcase might not get to to the UK and might go straight back to the States and then um, with Ruth's parcel but um, it arrived it arrived the suitcase arrived on the Saturday afternoon and the hotel in Rotherham were absolutely fantastic they phoned me and said the suitcase has arrived so I took Whitney straight to the hotel not so she could get clean clothes obviously but so I could get my parcel from Ruth <laughs> um, and anyway we then Whitney said at the hotel, are you going to open it now or are we going to go back to the big stitch? And I was like, we're going to go back to the big stitch and I'm going to open it there. So it was really, really wonderful because I had all my table mates who sat and watched me open this wonderful box of delights that Ruth had sent. And so there were lots of oohs and ahs of, of um, just, just stitches and I think everything that that Ruth had made me went round the table so everybody could have a look at it so it was just wonderful it was absolutely wonderful and Ruth thank you so so much just you have sent the most beautiful gifts for me and I'm just you know this is a and this is an early birthday present and I'm just absolutely over the moon so let me show you what Ruth sent first of all she'd messaged and said are there any threads that you want any DMC and I kind of was a bit, was a bit, oh, I'm not really sure. And I didn't really, um, and I was on a bit of a deadline because I knew that she had to post post to Whitney. And I just quickly had a look at a pattern and was like, yes, I need, I need a few. So she sent me the four that I needed. Um, but I think um, <laughs> Ruth had been to a 
thrift store and had an absolute amazing find that she found a big bundle of DMC. And so she went through the bundle and took out what she hadn't got and any duplicates and, and then has just sent me everything else left over. Look at that. I think I counted them. I think there are perhaps were 108 maybe in there. So what a lucky girl am I. And there are quite a few colours in there that I didn't have already have. So there are a few that I have got, but I know I can see straight away 926. I'll use that. There's, there's quite a few in there that I do already have, but I know oh, 921, that's a real 922. They're, those are real. I think actually I'm quite short of that one. Those are real regulars that I use because they're quite popular colours. So just what an amazing find by Ruth and how kind of her to send me her her leftovers. But it didn't stop there. She sent me this beautiful card, actually. Beautiful, beautiful card. And she did also send me a postcard of where she lives, which and I can never pronounce it, so I'm glad she sent it. But um, yeah, that's on the back wall. So there are a few other things in here that she sent. Oh, these have just fallen out. She sent some little pins for displaying. And she also sent me some counting. You can see those quite well. They're coming. They're coming into focus. Aren't they? Some counting pins, which are absolutely. I haven't. I haven't got any of those. So I'm really, really pleased. Ruth also sent me some of her charts that she'd already stitched. Quite a bundle here, and she. Ha! Huh, look, chubby bunny. <laughs> really pleased with that one. So there's quite a few that I am going to stitch. And then Ruth had also said to me, if there's any that you don't want to stitch, if you'd like to give them away on a YouTube channel or pass them on to friends. So there are a few there that I potentially will do a giveaway at some point with. But then there's quite a few also that I would like to stitch. Um, so you probably will see those coming through in 2025. But then, oh, I don't know where to start. Let's start with something summery. Little Mill Hill chicken. So this one has got a magnet on the back. Actually, so that will stick. That will go on here, won't it? Yes, it will. So I'm going to stick that little chicken there. Or it might go on my chicken heart downstairs. I've got a heart with lots of other chicken things on. But just, Ruth knows me so well. Getting me a little chicken. Then, let's go with... Halloween next. Oh, look! Halloween kitty cats. Love, love, love. And it's got a little... I'll just cover Ruth's surname. But... Love it. Love it. Then, oh, look at this. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, you can't see the full effect. So... I love, 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 love my ghost. I, I actually was thinking this morning, when can I start decorating for Halloween? Is it the 1st of September, I wonder? Definitely, I can't wait. And I have got quite a few Halloween stitches that I need to finish so that I can um, put them up with all my wonderful Halloween decorations. So, love that. Notice that actually the can you see he's got can you see he's got green green in his eyes and mouth oh spooky love my ghost then a couple of Christmassy decorations that Ruth made for me I'd like to learn how to do these I think these are really good little decorations I've seen these I think on Instagram before so a Christmas star which is absolutely gorgeous and then she knows I like cardinals as well look at this. So really, and that's on that's stitched on perforated paper, like the like the little chicken with her chicks was. So a little cardinal on perforated paper, on a little sleigh. Absolutely love that. Absolutely love it. And then this is just the best. This is just fantastic. So a little cushion. Again, a little Ruth's little sticker on the back, 
and look at this. Needles, thread, fabric, flossy sews and grows, floss tube. How fantastic is that? With a little 2023-2024 charm, because I think Ruth and I, I think we started chatting to, to each other in 2023. I think, yeah, so I first started filming floss tube at the end of 2022, or kind of autumn of 2022. I think we first started chatting probably in 2023 and met on a stitch across the pond zoom call and then became firm friends so just love it absolutely what a wonderful friend you are ruth thank you so so much just love it absolutely love it thank you so just the most wonderful wonderful bundle of joy and yeah, just a lovely, lo lovely stash of charts. Um, what a great friend you are, Ruth. Thank you so much. Um, I have got some stitchy kindness for all of you, actually, this week as well. Um, so Love Poppet, so Claire at Love Poppet has just released another stitch along. Or she's just about to release another stitch along. It's the Night Riders Sal. It's another four part stitch along. Um, pre-orders are open for it now already and I will pop some pictures up here as I'm talking um, it starts on the 29th of August and what I, what I really love about this one is that Claire couldn't find the fabric the exact colour of fabric that she wanted for this stitch along so she dyed the fabric herself and it's a beautiful kind of dark teal colour um, and it's absolutely wonderful and I wish I had not got so many plants already for the rest of the year that I could stitch this one but sadly I'm not going to stitch this one um, but Claire has offered some stitchy kindness that she's offered a pdf to me to gift to one of you lovely subscribers out there um, so if you'd like to win the pdf I will announce it next week so it's Tuesday today I'm hoping to film a week on Friday again for my end of August kind of roundup um, so there isn't an awful lot of time but if you could use the word Halloween down below on the comments and please be a subscriber so please be over 18 so that you can give me your email address because I will pass that on to Claire who will email the PDF to you each week when it's released and um yeah please be a subscriber this can go anywhere in the world as a pdf so hopefully all of you who don't always um aren't always able to join in on um with competitions um can do on this one so please don't use the word giveaway or competition or any of those nasty horrible words below that might bring trolls to us because we don't want that i want to make sure it goes to a lovely stitcher out there so if you would still like to buy the kit, the Night Riders Stitch Along from Love Poppet, you can do on their website. I will put the website address here. You can purchase the kit to receive the fabric and the floss pack and the PDFs will be sent every release day, which I believe is a Thursday. So the first one is the 29th of August and then it's every two weeks for four weeks. Um, and it's on... The kits come in 14 count Ada or 32 count even weave and both I believe are hand dyed by Claire and the colour is just fantastic. So that is the little bit of stitchy kindness for you as well as all the stitchy kindness that I had as well. So I am actually getting a lot closer to 2000 subscribers now. Um, I'm not far off my two year floss anniversary, and I'm not too far off my 50th birthday either. So it'd be really amazing if I could get to 2000 subscribers for my birthday. That'd be wonderful. And then I could maybe do a birthday giveaway because I do have some charts that I'd like to give away or pass on to, to stitchers that I've either stitched or I've been gifted. Um, so if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Let's get me to 2000. That would be absolutely fantastic. Um, I have had a bit of haul. So I did show this in the video that I did with Sarah. So this is um, going to be my birthday start. 
and this is Americana Blue by October House Fiber Arts. And I did buy this just before the big stitch from Rachel at the Talking Dog Stitchery. And um, yeah, so this is going to be my birthday start. And I had decided um, I'd found, I'd looked through my stash to try and decide what thread I was going to stitch it with. And um, I found, I already had in my stash La Belle by Cottage Garden Threads. And actually I bought, one of them's already disappeared. I thought they were together. Um, I bought two skeins of this because this does take um, five skeins of Weeks Dye Works to stitch. So I bought another two of these. Um, and I got these from Peakside so that hopefully um, I'll have enough. So really looking forward to starting that one. And of course, things can't travel on their own. So I did buy, I had, I don't know what I needed crimson for. But I got a crimson Weeks Dye Works and then Bejeweled. And I know this is for, um, oh, the one of Sammy Little Loops patterns bejeweled I think that's just a gorgeous color and then I did buy some um some 36 count light mocha mushroom fabric now this if you buy vintage country mocha this is the other side I think this is the fabric that they use to print the mottling on it so you can if you stitch on the other side of country vintage mocha because it's stamped it's not a it's not hand dyed it's a, it's a stamped fabric the other side is this colour. So it's a really versatile colour, this one, actually. And I did also buy a... Those are from Peakside. I did also buy a um, 16th of r, r Reproduction 36 Count Winter Brew because I wanted to try it um, um, because I haven't tried it before. And I know that Rachel from Talking Dog Stitcher um, is going to be trialing selling some fabric she did have some very briefly on her instagram and um some of this and i i said oh can i have a piece and it had gone it went boom, really quickly so i'm hoping that she's going to get some more in so i can get a bigger piece because that's quite a small piece and there's a couple of things that i think would look fantastic on that so yeah so not a huge amount of haul i think with <laughs> with all my DMC I had from Ruth and all the DMC that I had from Whitney when she came over for the big stitch and with all the charts I had bought not only bought at the big stitch but I've been gifted as well I definitely have um, got a huge amount to do and I think next year I probably need to do 51 new starts so that I, I can get everything stitched that I want to get stitched there's just so much. There's just so much. It's just so wonderful. <laughs> Getting a bit crazy. Yes. Anyway, um, I haven't watched a huge amount of Floss Tube because we've been away camping and um, having a day out. When Fliss was at Scout Camp, I watched quite a lot because Simon was up here writing. So I'd sit up here and stitch and I'd watch Floss Tube. I'd usually watch it on my laptop up here in my stitching room. Um, when Felicity's at home, I'll go down at kind of eight o'clock in the evening and watch TV with her and stitch down there. So I don't get get the chance to watch Floss Tube um, quite as much. And then obviously with camping, didn't watch any at all. And I know that I've had a few shout outs, but I haven't got round to watching as yet. So I'm hoping that I can start catching up over the next couple of days um, because there have been, I'm halfway through Just So Sherry because Sherry's gone weekly now, which is absolutely fantastic. But yeah, just trying to keep up. Um, but, and then there's a couple more that I do want to catch up with as well. So, and I'm not going to show you a Stitch My Mum this week because I think we've had um, Stitch My Ruth and just had a look at, you know, all those lovely gifts that I've had from her. It's just been lovely to look at someone else's stitching. So I will save Stitch By Mum for next week and also... I will save some of the other stories that I have to tell you from the last couple of weeks of days out that we've had. So that is going to be it for today. Not quite as long as I thought it might be. Um, I tried to keep I tried to keep my number of whips down 
So rather than stitching on 20 things and only doing, you know, 100 stitches here and 100 stitches there on 20 projects, try to keep it to a smaller number and try and stitch more on them. So, um, yeah, now it's to decide what I'm going to stitch on for the next 10 days till I see you next time. What could I get finished? Have I got nothing in there I could finish? I should show you a finish next week if I can, shouldn't I? And I've got I've got two new starts as well coming up. Exciting. Anyway, that is definitely it for now. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you did. Try and get me up to 2,000. That would be wonderful. That's my next kind of dream, my next aim. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you for coming along. And I shall see you in a in yeah about a week on friday hopefully on my next day off take care everyone and happy stitching bye bye